Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the little eye in the corner, top right corner as well. Got my wife's channel there uh, if you want to check out some random videos of us. Uh, and yeah, there you go. But this is going to be the first OpenGL video in a long time. And we're going to do something real fun in this, in these couple of videos coming up. We're going to be working on the object loader. And I know you guys want to just jump in to that real quick. And I want to, I want to just create it and just load an object in. But we need to talk about what it does and how it works. Because it might be a little complicated to get into at first. So I know you guys are excited, probably jumping up and down. Whoa, new OpenGL video. Yeah, but, but it's going to be a lot of tedious stuff as well so first of all we want to just check if you have your if you created this vertex struct here because that's something we're going to require uh, having that is going to be great just make sure you have that and then you want to check your model just so you have the, all the latest changes from before from the previous videos make sure you have all this stuff i'll up, up, update this on github and you can just uh, download that um, but first of all Let's check out an OBJ file. So that's what we're going to be loading. We're going to be creating an OBJ loader. Now, first of all, when you open these files, if you're new to this, you probably don't know what the hell's going on. You go in, you're like, what? A bunch of numbers, a letter, what is happening, all this. But if you look at it closely, you probably understand what the hell's going on. So the way it's built up is all this you can ignore, it's just comments and weird stuff. Everything has a prefix, so it's easy to load. So when you load a line, you check the prefix and then you put these into the appropriate arrays. So vert V is obviously just for a regular vertex. So this is the X, Y, and Z coordinates for one vertex. And you just load all the vertices. Now this is a very small little file, OBJ file. It's for a dodecahedron or something. Uh, some kind of weird object. Uh, I have a bigger one I'll show you in a minute. But then you have all the vertices, okay? And each vertex is going to have an a vertex uh, texture coordinate so VT stands for te texture coordinate and then you're gonna load in all of those in a separate array once that's done you're gonna find all the VNs and I'm gonna let you guess what that is yeah hopefully you guess right and that's a uh, vertex normal so you have all the normals here and you see there are fewer normals than their texture coordinates and then their vertices and it's all weird right but that's because we have our faces here the F stands for faces and that's a very fancy word for just, you know, bunching together all of these to create vertices and everything. So what it does is it takes a vertex coordinate, a texture coordinate, and a normal and bunches that together into one. So each of these faces are going to bunch together all of our vertices. And remember, we have the vertex struct. So we're going to store a vertex coordinates, all those the position, the uh, texture coordinate, and the normal into that. And then we're just going to create a white color for it because we don't have any color values here. So step one is going to be to get the prefix, get a whole line, check the prefix. If it's a V, we're going to put this into a vertex array. If it's a VT in this line, we're going to store this in a another array. And if it's a VN, we're going to store that in another one. And then once that's done, then we're going to start creating vertices so we're going to create one vertex at a time here just you know putting all this data into it so to get started i want you to go into your project and i want you to create a new header file a new item and we're just going to use a header file here like this and we're going to call it obj obj loader and I don't want you to be too disappointed since we're not going to finish this in this video, but it will come us, uh, it will come another video very soon where we do finish it. Um, and you can try working on it yourself as well. It's a very good idea. So first of all, we need to include stuff. We have our pragma ones. We're good. We want to print stuff out. So I'm going to include IO stream. It's always good to print vertices, everything out as you're going along. We're going to be working with strings as well. So we're going to include string here good uh, we're also going to include f stream because a lot of file loading and stuff so include uh, f stream all right 
uh, also to store stuff include vector it's a good way to store things uh, we need a string stream very much we do include a stream string stream s stream there we go all right and then we're gonna include why didn't I do that before okay algorithm if we want to sort these later on but I'm not sure if we're gonna have to do that now we're gonna include glue it's a good idea to do that include glue.h will include this gl int and stuff and then we're gonna include the window thing here uh, gl f w include glfw3 good in case we need any of that and the most almost most important thing uh, math libs we need all the math stuff uh, so let's see what do we need here include let's start with glm glm and let us include vec 3 hpp uh, let's do the dvec 4 hpp I also want the mat 4x4 4x4 and then we need uh, what else do we need matrix transformations maybe cgtc matrix transform and then another GTC type pointer would be nice. I don't know if we're going to need all this. We can remove this later. Uh, but for now, we'll keep it like this. Good, good, good. Also, of course, include vertex.h. Own lips, our own lips. And then std lips. Good. All right. So we are set up with some includes here. Nothing too bad. Uh, and now we want to create our object loader. Now I'm not going to create a class here. Uh, I'm going to create just a little function actually that uh, loads the whole object and spits it out. Okay, it spits out a, a vertex array. So let's see how to do that. Well, first of all, we need it. We want it stat, sta, static. And then we want to spit out a vertex vector vector of vertices okay and we'll call it load obj load obj should be fine we'll call it load obj and then we'll have a const char file name good file name nice guys look at this now we have a function uh, vert Vertex portions. I don't know what to call it, but we'll call it vertex portions, like portions of it. And we're gonna have a bunch of vectors here. STD vector GLM F vec3 is the position. Vertex position. STD vector GLM vec3. We have f vec three vertex normal, and then we also want a f vec two vertex text chord. Okay, so position, and we have a text coordinate, and we have a normal. Good, good, and then we're gonna need. Let's see, we need other vertices for the faces, vectors for the faces. So face vectors and this is gonna hold our the index to each of these so let's see we're gonna do a std vector gl int vertex in this and I'll, I'll explain all of this don't worry uh, normal indices this can be vertex position indices, vertex normal indices, and vertex text chord indices. So I'm going to put this up here. And this is just to see the face. So to read the face. Remember, it's like a number. So we want the one. All right, vertex position index one. And then we'll go to that index in this array and we'll find that. So that's pretty much how I want to do it. Good. So once we have our vectors ready, 
we want some some idea of what's going on we want our vertex array we want a vertex array here the actual one std vector vertex vertices good number of vertices we probably don't need since this will keep track of that for us we want a few things down the line here so i'm just going to start off by setting it up std string stream ss we're going to need that we're going to need a in file oh yeah well, that's what we're going to need std if stream in file now let's open it directly let's just do that file name straight up and we'll check if it's open if in file that is open good but we'll throw error if it's not open right here so we'll just throw something um, that's good and we're gonna need to read a line as well std string line good and we'll initialize that to nothing we're gonna store stuff here we're gonna load it using this file in file stream and we're gonna store the completed vertices after calculating all that stuff with these vert or these vectors we're gonna store the finished vertices in here and then we're hopefully just gonna spit them out in return uh, vertices vertices there you go so this is the end this is a loaded success at that point you should be able to print or, or uh, render this object file out so hopefully this made sense this video is a little long and a little weird but uh, we'll get to it in the next one we'll make sure you understand what's going on hopefully in about two videos we'll have a working object loader thank you so much for sticking with me thanks for all the support and just keep working hard keep learning play around with this as well try to understand what's going on and try to load all this stuff out you can get free obj files from the net just to see how they look and experiment with that okay so thank you so much take care i'll see you in the next one right bye bye